Hey everybody, hope you guys are all being safe. So Techno is a company you may have heard a lot about in recent years. That's because Techno has been making a splash on the global tech scene. It started in December 2022 when Techno launched the world's first phone with a pop-out zoom camera in Dubai. I was there. And then a few months later at MWC 2023, Techno became one of the very first Chinese brands to launch a large book style foldable phone outside of China before Oppo did it, before Honor did it, before Vivo did it. And then later in the year, Techno launched a second foldable phone in Singapore. So this is a company that's been aggressively making waves on the global tech scene for the past two years or so. But the company's actually been around a lot longer than that. If you live in certain regions of the world, Techno is already a very familiar name. The company started making phones in 2006, but it's just that for the first 15 years of its existence, Techno decided to make high value devices in regions like Africa and Latin America. But about three years ago, the company decided we're gonna expand and we're gonna start making and selling premium flagship phones although still at a very good price. And with all these products, Techno has also built intelligent software that play nicely together to form seamless synergy between all the products to enhance user experience. Techno actually made its debut at the Computex trade show in Taipei this week, where it showed off its line of flagship products and the AIoT ecosystem. These products include the company's flagship laptop, the MegaBook S1, which I have here. And Techno is kind enough to sponsor this video for me to talk about the product and its AIoT features. We'll take a quick look at the unboxing experience while I run through the specs. The MegaBook S1 runs on the 12th generation Intel Core i7 1260p processor with integrated Iris Xe graphics, 16 gigs of RAM, LPDDR5 standard. It's got a vibrant 15.6 inch 3.2K display with 120Hz refresh rate that also covers 100% of the sRGB color gamut. The laptop also has a lot of ports, including two USB-C ports on the left side and a full-size HDMI. One of the USB-C ports also a Thunderbolt 4.0. On the left side, you have two full USB-A port, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot. There's also a 70 watt hour battery inside with an advanced cooling system with two fans and a vapor chamber inside. Despite all of that, this laptop is still pretty sleek. At its thickest point, it measures 13.5 millimeters. It weighs about three pounds or 1.35 kg. But one of the features that Techno showed off at Computex was One Leap, which is Techno's proprietary software that allows the MegaBook series of laptops to connect seamlessly with Techno smartphones. You are able to connect a Techno smartphone to the MegaBook S1 wirelessly via One Leap, which then allows you to mirror the smartphone screen on the laptop and move files between devices via good old drag and drop or swipe gestures on the screen. You can also copy and paste your documents between your laptop and phone. If you take a photo with a Techno phone that's already paired to the MegaBook laptop, you will see the file showing in the clipboard so you can just directly paste it into the laptop. I did try one leap a couple of weeks ago when I was in Hong Kong and I can say the experience is pretty smooth. There's no perceivable lag and I can scroll through the phone's home screen, the mirrored version on the laptop screen pretty smoothly. I made a video on Techno's most recent flagship phone, the Canon 30 Pro about two months ago and that phone plays very nicely with the MegaBook S1 here. At Computex, Techno also showed off the Watch Pro 2 and the True One. These are the company's flagship smartwatch and flagship wireless earbuds and they bring the company's usual premium craft in an affordable package. The Watch Pro 2 has a 1.43 inch OLED screen covered by 2.5D glass, meaning the screen curves a little bit at the edges. So you're not encountering a rough edge when you're swiping your finger through. The watch body is constructed out of aluminum alloy and the back of the watch has sensors to detect your heart rate, your heart rhythm, blood oxygen level, and various other exercises. I've been wearing the Watch Pro 2 to the gym and it's been doing a good job of tracking my heart rate as well as keeping track of exercises. Speaking of exercises, this watch can detect over 110 different physical activities, ranging from weightlifting to swimming to basketball. The Watch Pro 2 pairs with Techno's companion app, which is available on the Google Play Store. In there, you can see all your recent data as well as choose from a selection of watch faces. And finally, we have the Techno True One. Now I've said before that wireless earbuds are a dime a dozen, so I'm glad that Techno has decided to give the True One a slightly different design and look than everything else out there. I really like this case with a lid, a cover that you slide open instead of flip open like everything else out there. This means I can also open the case with just one hand, which I can't do on several other earbuds. The case also has this velvet texture coating that does not attract fingerprint. It sort of feels like 
the premium Huawei MateBook X Pro that I reviewed a month ago. Like that texture, it's very nice to the hand and really you need to look at. The case is a little bit larger than usual, but that's because there's a bigger battery to provide longer playtime. With the case, you can get a total of 45 hours of listening time, which is best in class among all wireless earbuds. The earbuds are comfortable to wear and they're the first true wireless earbuds to support vapor chamber audio, meaning the earbuds has a lower bass range down to 18 kilohertz and a higher treble range all the way up to 45 kilohertz. More important to me is that the active noise cancellation is pretty good because I'm, I'm usually in very noisy cities like Bangkok, Hong Kong, loud as hell and these earbuds do a pretty good job of muting outside noise and just allow me to concentrate on the music or the podcast the true one can connect to two devices at once and obviously it can connect to the MakerBook s1 very seamlessly so with almost no latency between audio and visuals and such a beautiful 15.6 inch screen this is an excellent on-the-go movie machine setup right here I've written about this for Forbes, but Techno is a company that's been working hard to expand the past few years. And it's good to see the company has built a portfolio of products that are well-performing, well-priced, and they all play together seamlessly thanks to an intelligent AIoT ecosystem. Techno keeps improving every year and I'm excited to see what they do next. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this content and thank you to Techno for sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching.